One of the things that I learned from psychedelics is that time is not real in the way that we think of it. It's like we think that past, present, and future are three stages of time, but these are just uh, plays of the human mind. And for a long time, I've had this idea where I try to tell people like the present moment is the only thing that exists. Like we think that the past is real because we lived it and we think that the future is real. But the reality is that the past actually isn't any more real than the future. It just seems like it is because we lived it. So we have the actual memories like in our psychology and our physiology and all of it. Um, so what does that mean that the past isn't any more real than the future? Like the future feels like it's real for sure, but it's actually not. It hasn't happened yet. It's not here. The only reality is the present moment. It's the only thing that exists, but it's the human condition that we have a mind um, which stores everything that we've ever experienced and um, everything negative. Actually, the more negative that something is, the more um, intense that the emotional reaction was in that it related to that experience for a split second or for like a prolonged experience, um, the more negative that the emotional experience was and the more like um impactful and powerful and transformative that it was for your life um the stronger that it gets locked into our psychology and the more difficult it is to rework the psychology and to actually remove that from our associ association of self um but the past isn't any more real than the, f than the future because there is a reality of the present moment that is so entirely separate from the past and the future in the exact same way. And I was just, so I've, I've had this idea and I haven't had a good way to like truly explain it in a way where people can be like, what the fuck are you talking about? The past isn't real. Like what yesterday didn't happen. Um, we choose to think of our identity, who we are, in this life as the body. And because we do that, we think that we're born and we live for a certain amount of time and then we die. And that's who we are and that's that's what life is. If it's true that we are not the body and we are actually a soul that has gone through countless bodies and is in this body for this life and when it's over, it'll be in another body, then that means that the body isn't actually our identity. And if the body isn't actually our identity, then all of these experiences that we have that have made us who we are in this lifetime, in this world, we associate these experiences as our identity because they helped us to form who we are in the present moment as a human being. But if we realize that our true identity is actually consciousness, is, is energy, um, then that identity, our identity in this life is no longer um, associated with all of those memories. And if we can start to let go of those memories as our identity, and we can actually clear, we can let go of them, forgive and forget completely in a way where they're not even in our mind anymore, and we fill that space that has been filled with memories when our mind is completely clear and present. You can get there. You can get to a point where you're literally, you have no thoughts. If you have no thoughts and you're blissful, full of bliss, think about that. You can get there. It's not that, diff it's, it's not that complicated. You just have to be disciplined. You have to know how to do it and then be disciplined with the practice. And um, part of that is that you need good uh, examples of like what you're capable of. Like somebody like David Goggins is such a great example just as far as understanding your potential if you choose to live in a certain way. Um, if you clear the mind completely and you're, you're not... There's no thought of identity even. There's no thought of I. There's no ego left. 
then the mind, in order to do that, the mind has to be completely focused with an unbreakable focus on God. Because God is the reality. God is eternity. If we are the soul that's going through these bodies, then that means that the idea of the, the one creator, the sun, where all the sun rays are coming from, who is outside of time, outside of this material reality, has always existed, will always exist. Everything in this world is permanent. So if we try to find truth in this world without thinking about what's after the world, what was before this world, what is there something deeper? Because it seems like there is. If we can experience love and we can um, like, like if, to tap into the potential of human will is something that is um, we are capable of being whatever we are solely focused on. And if we are solely focused on a creator of everything who is literally maintaining the infinite cosmos every second of every day of time infinity, if we focus on that completely and our mind is completely removed, detached from everything in this world and our mind is 100% focused on God, then what are we? We are God. We're not a human. But our mind is focused on all this other shit that's related to us as a human in this world, thinking that that's what's most important. But if we know that God is most important and we evolve our mind through discipline, through yoga, to a point where it never forgets the reality of life, it's realization, realization of self. When we can do that, we can smile no matter what. 